The D-Link DIR605L wireless and router lets you share a safe and secure internet connection with the whole family. Note that your router may look a bit different depending on when and where you bought it. To set it up, just plug it in and connect the cable from your cable modem or DSL router to the port marked internet. The power LED on the front will turn green. There's another LED that looks like a globe, which turns green when your internet connection is live. A third LED that looks like waves turns green when the router is emitting a wireless signal. Hardware setup is easy. Connect your PC to one of the Ethernet ports on the back of the DIR605L. Try to use the same computer that was originally connected to your cable modem or DSL router. You can also connect to the wireless network created by the DIR605L. The default name, or SSID, is D-Link. After everything's connected, turn off your cable or DSL modem, wait a moment, and turn it back on. In many cases, your internet connection will work automatically, and you can skip right to setting up your wireless network. Otherwise, you'll need to configure the internet connection yourself. Now let's set up the internet connection. On the computer connected to your DIR605L, open a browser and the setup wizard should start automatically. If it doesn't, type D-Link Router in the address bar and click Go. You can also enter the IP address directly, 192.168.0.1. Either way takes you to the router configuration page. First, choose your language from the list and click Start. Next, you can choose to set up your connection manually or have your DIR605L do it automatically. This time, choose Auto Detect and click Next. The router will try to detect your connection type. You may need to enter a username and password. Get them from your ISP. If that doesn't work, go back and try manual setup. You'll need any information that you got from your ISP when you signed up for service. If you have any problems, just give them a call. Below the internet connection box, you'll find wireless settings. Enter a name or SSID for your network. Let's use my home network. Choose auto WPA security mode. It keeps your network safer and it works with any modern wireless device. Finally, enter a network key. That's just your wireless password, the one you need to connect to the network. Once finished, click Next. Now it's time to set an administrator password. This is the one that you need to change your router settings in the future. Note that this is not the same as your wireless password, which you set on the previous screen. Your administrator password and wireless password should be different for better security. Once finished, click Next. Choose your time zone from the list. Click Next. Wait a moment while your router saves settings. When it's finished, you'll see a summary page. At this point, you'll want to sign up for MyD-Link. It's a free online service that helps you get the most from your router. You can use the free MyD-Link Lite app to control your router from your smartphone or tablet, receive email alerts, view the browsing history of connected devices, and a lot more. It's convenient and quick. 
Just look for the My D-Link Account section and click Configure. If you already have a My D-Link account, you can enter your information now. Otherwise, choose No. You'll be asked to enter your email address, a password, and your name. Read and accept the MyD-Link Terms of Service. When you're done, click Register. Wait a moment while the router saves settings. The process is complete when you see the summary screen. The router will create a convenient text file for you with all your passwords. Click Save My Network Settings, then Save. You can go to mydlink.com and log in to your MyDlink account to see and manage your DIR605L over the internet. At this point, your high-speed wireless and network is ready to use. If you have any trouble or make a mistake during setup, no problem. Just press and hold the reset button on the back of the DIR605L for about 10 seconds, then let go. The LEDs on the front will change. This returns your router to its original factory settings, and you can restart setup from the beginning. If you signed up from MyD-Link and your router is still connected to the internet, a hardware reset will also clear your MyD-Link account. To use MyD-Link, you'll have to create a new account. If your router is not connected to the internet when you perform the hardware reset, you can keep using your old MyD-Link account. To connect a mobile device, just choose your wireless network and enter your password. For more information, visit dlink.com.